One day the light touched me, and I filed a sexual harassment lawsuit. After a lengthy court process, we came to a settlement, and I was chosen to be the savior. There are 13 days until the world ends. Get it? Cause it's Final Fantasy 13. Applaud our creativity, mortals! Are you trying to kill me? Yes, if you don't mind. Oh, okay. Uh, hey, look over there! Have you noticed they call Snow the patron? Yeah, what's with that? Does he think he's better than everyone else? What a pretentious dickbag. No, it's because he started out by helping people. And over time they began to call him- Whoa, whoa. Are you relaying exposition during gameplay? Well, yeah, people didn't like it being tucked away in data logs for nerds, and they didn't like it awkwardly shoved into cutscenes either. So here we are. Now shut up and let me- Nerd. Finally. Let's kill Snow. No, that's not your mission, and you know it. You're f***ing nicked me, old beauty. Damn, you've been spotted! So? I've killed a bunch of guys already. Snow is literally behind that door. Do you want the game to be over in five minutes? Yes, actually. Come on, just let me kill Snow real quick. That is not your goddamn mission, Lightning! <laughs> okay, Dingus. You pulled me out of the tutorial level before I could actually achieve anything of value. You gonna explain the rules? What do I need to know? Well, first of all, through God, all things are possible. So jot that down. Hard pass. What's my mission? Save the souls of certain people to gain Aradia to preserve the tree of Yggdrasil, and gain more days until the end of the world. Certain souls? Don't you mean save everyone? Well, yeah, but there's like a million people. Do you really want to do a million different fetch quests? Also, some of these people are assholes, so, like, it kinda evens out? Okay, but like, I'm gonna save all the kids, right? They're innocent. They don't deserve eternal damnation. Uh, they've been alive for 500 years, so... Are they really still kids? Jeez. I'm not sure I'm comfortable with this selective genocide. Jeez, Light. It's not genocide if you're choosing who lives or dies. Oh, Holy sh**, this is genocide. Why do I have to get a train to Luxerion? This train's gross! Oh, there's a homeless guy masturbating for God's sake! Look, trust me, it's gonna be an artistic moment. Why can't I just teleport in like I do any other day in the game? It's a callback, Light! You started the first game by coming in on a train, remember? Call back my nuts! I'm teleporting everywhere from now on. Okay, stop right there. Oh, f me, not you again. How are you even here? It's like a thousand years later. I'm Mr. Lawyer's great, 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 great grandson. We are an incestuous family. Also, I'm here to represent my client, Link and Skull Kid. Okay, you know what? No, f you. No one owns the time three day structured video game genre. Dead Rising did it too. Yeah! Hope? Hope! Damn it, the signal is getting weak. No, I dropped my phone in the bath. But luckily, thanks to Samsung's new waterproof smartphone, your phone can survive being submerged for up to one minute. That's enough of that. Isn't it kind of weird Hope always affirms he's on your side? Oh, by the way, look, it's Sarah. Wait, you look just like Sarah. You only just noticed I look like your dead sister? Moron. Yo, I got a symbol of your wacko cult. Let me in. Hmm, you look an awful lot like that woman we're trying to kill that our entire cult is based on. It can't be me. She has pink hair. Mine's more of a strawberry blonde. Oh, okay. Come on in then. Dumbass. This oracle drive shows the future. The cult saw that it shows you bringing about the end of the world. So they're killing pink-haired girls to try and lure you out. That's racist. That's not what racism is. Also, it makes no sense. 
They know the pink haired girls are obviously not me. So if they've been doing this since before I woke up, then they have been killing people for no reason to lure me out when I wasn't even awake yet. Yeah, that's kind of their thing. No, this is not the time to fight yet. Then why the hell did you start a fight? Everything must be perfect for our final clash. It's my first time, I want it to be special! Lightning, follow me! Again? Seriously? I am the most OP Final Fantasy character ever. And they are literally humans in robes. Get out of there, Light! God damn it, I hate you all. I will kill you. You do know I'm the main character, right? Damn. The writer, I mean, God, has given you some serious power. No matter. I will do whatever it takes to make you all happy. Ah, now it makes sense. You're a simp. Am not! You're willing to kill the savior of humanity to have a chance to be with you. Simp. Damn it, Lightning! Is this all you are now? A walking thesaurus of writing cliches? I'm not done yet. I haven't even become to peak! I will kill you! <laughs> no. This isn't what Yule would have wanted. You were literally swinging a knife at my face aggressively less than 10 seconds ago. If Yule could see me now. I can see you now, Noel. And man. What a little bitch you've become. Will we be together again someday, Yule? No, because I'm just a simulation. Which gets revealed in the next scene, by the way. So, what are you gonna do until the end of the world? Oh, you know, this and that, exist off screen, that kind of thing. You could join me. Final Fantasy games are way harder when you're solo. Nah. Rude. I'm just saying, there are things Bonavelsa can't see. Things like this moment right now, where my comms with hope stop working. Bingo! So, hope is Bonavelsa? No. Maybe. If for some reason you're playing this game without playing the first two, here's a flashback to remind you who Vanille is. Long time no see. Vanille, you look just like I remembered, but with the hat. Thanks. You look like a stripper. I am not a stripper. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get to that platform down there a sec. Sorry about that. So, what's up with you? Fang and I split up. We just couldn't see eye to eye. She saw us as a couple, and I saw myself as not interested. Yeah, I know, it's crazy. So, want to join me in saving the world? There's something I must do. It has to be me, and it has to happen here. Aha. Uh -huh. So, you're not joining me either. Got it. Adonis? Your name is actually Adonis? Yes. And it's a perfectly reasonable name, Mrs. Named after a flush of light produced by a discharge of atmospheric electricity. Speaking of which, we can't seem to get past this dust storm. Do something about it. Wow. You seem to have powers the rest of us. Just don't. Yeah, comes with being the director's virtual wife. Uh-huh. Gross. Go see the boss! Long time no see, Light. How about a quick gander at your norks for old time's sake? No. Now, what do I need to do to save your soul? I refer you to my previous statement. <sighs> Google my name on Rule 34 and thank me later. Now, how do I save your soul? Well, I guess you can help me find the Clevis. God damn it! I'm not sleeping with you! No, 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 love. Clevis is like some holy relic that the Order is after. That has something to do with Vanille. Okay.
I mean, if you're offering. Dang. They got the clevis. They'll be taking it back to Luxurian. Can't we go stop them? Airships don't work anymore. They're not gonna get far very quickly. We'll have to stop them on the final day. Ah, <sighs> so this whole adventure was pointless. Look, Sheila, maybe the real Clavis was the friends with benefits we made along the way. What? Oh, just give us a snog, will ya? So, you're gonna, like, go talk to the Vanille? Yeah, sure. Like soon, right? You're not gonna leave it until the final day. Look, we'll just see what happens, okay? Ah, <sighs> see you on the final day, Fang. I saw Sarah for a second. It's like... God was reminding me of what I'm fighting for. You don't sound very grateful. Do you know how hard it is to cast illusions like that? What? Anywho, you're not doing very well so far. You're two for two on dead ends with the main characters from 13 so far. Maybe go see what Kaius is up to. Don't you mean Sass? I said what I said. So Hope seems pretty suspicious. I mean, if you defy him, then you'll doom the whole world. Then I guess I'll kill the world's hope. That means two things. Sid reigns. That may have been a soul's name once, but I am merely a voice of the dead. We couldn't be bothered to make a new model. So, the dead picked me to represent them. So, of the billions of souls, you just happened to pick someone I sort of knew? Correct. So, if you're just the voice of the dead, why are you using a random soul to talk to me? I mean, that's more like a soul possessing a body, of which his has long decomposed. So, you're a collection of souls possessing a soul. I mean, if you were dead set on bringing Sid back for no apparent reason, why not just say it's Sid's soul delivering a message on behalf of the dead instead of... whatever this is. Who writes this crap? Can I finish my exposition dump, please? God, so rude. If you build it, they will come. What? Uh, I, I mean, come to the ruins of Valhalla. Bitch. Dear God, this poor chocobo. Don't you worry, you leave him in the capable hands of Dr. Gishel. Oh, neat. Like the stuff you feed chocobos in other games. I am a professional, ma'am. My name is not a pun. Lumina gave me this box and told me to find all the fragments of Dodge's soul. Okay. Well, did you? I searched the whole damn world and didn't find a single one. Are you blind? One of them is literally right outside this airship. Dodge, you're alive, my little boy. I love you, Daddy. Let's spend the last few days of the world inside this broken down airship. Oh, that's right. It's been like 500 years. Thanks, Light. Next time you come back, bring that fine piece of ass Sarah with you. Caius, you big old nerd. How the devil are ya? We meet again, woman. Who would be goddess? No, just woman. It's been 500 years, I've forgotten who you are. Oh sh it's you! No! This place has become a shrine of chaos. Like the first Final Fantasy game. Come and fight me, warrior goddess! And maybe enjoy some exposition from all the Yules on the way up. Maybe learn a bit more about me before judging me from your high horse. I'm not here to fight you. Tough sh cause you're gonna. As you can see, if one Yule desires my death, another demands my salvation. I cannot be saved. My body, my choice. I'm a proud anti-salvationist. Do your own research, warrior goddess. Okay, so this whole world was a waste of time too. Didn't you save Zass in this world? I said what I said. Okay, time to save Snow! Yup, time to kill Snow. <sighs> also, you know you've made this ten times harder by leaving him until last, right? Wait, what? 
God damn it, Hope. That's why I tried to kill him first to prevent exactly that. You keep saying kill. You do know that, right? Anywho, go do save your things. I have business to attend to. What the? They've up the security. You won't be able to just enter the palace. Is this just to pad this section out a bit more? Uh, yes. Thought so. Light, you'll have to be a part of the show. Don't worry, I'll feed you your lines like an SNL sketch where the host is a terrible actor. Okay, but then how do I actually, you know, get in? Rig the fireworks to explode in a much more volatile way, causing mass collateral damage. So, to get into the palace, I'm going to have to commit terrorism? Pretty much, yeah. Poggers. Put more fireworks in the show! No! Come on, it's the end of the world, right? F*** it, live a little. I am immediately swayed by your argument. I want to take over the lead of the play. Um, I don't think you can just do that. Make it happen, nerd. Okay, okay. Well, you need to look the part. So you could buy a dress. Yeah, that's probably what I'll or do. Or you could win it in a combat tournament. There's a combat tournament to win a dress? Yeah, sure. I don't know. F you! That's all, folks. Have fun in the cleanup. I want to help the patron. Let me help you. Okay, cool. But, like as an item vendor, I can't have you actually join me as a fighter. You're an NPC. That's just gross. Oh, okay. Wanna buy some weed? Uh, no. Don't you have, like, potions and weapons and sh No, I'm a minimum wage junkie. So, it's really you. You look different. I left that pendant, knowing only the real you would know to use it to reach me. Wait, so you fought me at the start of the game because you thought I was a fake? Are you really that stupid? Yeah, kinda. Go on, put him out of his misery! Okay. Wait, no, I was just goading you! Don't actually- well, damn! No wonder you suppressed your emotions so much that they manifested as me. What? Bye! Through sheer willpower, I have reversed the Seeth process! Remember how a goddess sacrificed herself and broke the timeline leading to the end of the world to undo exactly that, and you just managed to do it through sheer willpower? Yeah, that was really funny. I'm not joining you, by the way. Didn't expect you to, to be honest. Welp, it's the final day. My job's done here. By the way, I wasn't the real hope. Bye! Well, duh. It's the final day, Koopo! Uh, why are you here? I don't know. Wanna buy some weed? Jesus, what is with these makeshift vendor NPCs? I've been instructed to use any force necessary to stop you getting in! You're wearing a helmet, Steve. That shouldn't have hurt you. Leave me alone! Hi, Lightning! No! You gonna help me fight my way through? Sorry, not in my programming. What? Go! You gotta stop the Neil. Or something. I don't know. I wasn't there when he got told about it. Just go! 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 Blasphemy! Heresy! Son of me! Vanille, don't cast the soul song. I know everyone but me sucks, but we can save everyone! No! Damn it. Have a chat with the dead whilst we have this boss fight. And you better have a groundbreaking revelation by the time we're done. Oh yeah! The cavalry's here! Crikey, Skipper! We're here to help! And I'm here too! Uh... This is... kind of my game. So... Oh, no! ah! Yeah... My game.
Wanna buy some weed? F off! Behold! I am actually Bunavelza! So you were Bunavelza this whole time, right? But you were making jokes at times. You even made a joke about cross-dressing once. So like, you're an omnipotent deity, but you have a sense of humor? Apparently. Anywho, I've been working on an evil laugh in this body for weeks now. Ahem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, since the jig is up, do you want to switch to your real voice so I can take you seriously? Yes, thank God, uh, me. That little turd has such an irritating voice. You will become the new goddess of death. Oh. I'll be the goddess of death, all right. The goddess of death of you! Did you spend the whole game thinking that one up? Yeah, what do you think? Was it good? What do I think? What do I think? I think you're a big fat meanie! <laughs> it's a new world. A new world of hope. Don't do that, Light. That's dumb. Now go! Go and spend the entire game's budget on the final cutscene! I will not be denied, Lightning! Turn on the Japanese audio! Hell no. I've heard you in Japanese, you disgusting old man. Friends! To my side! I am all the gods! And I am all the souls! I don't think the cutscene really set you up for the Star Wars parody. Shut up! And now, Kamehameha Soul Power Attack of True Justice and Knuckles, GO! <laughs> I, uh... Didn't really think this through. Are we going to be reborn into the new world? Yes... Yes. Reborn? Like, every soul in the world is gonna be reborn at once? I guess? So is the world gonna be filled with a bunch of newborn babies strewn about all over the place, ultimately leading to a mass extinction event as they all die of neglect? Uh, no. That'd be silly. I mean, we will be, like, reborn as new people? With or without our memories? Yes. What about the souls of the dead? You don't need a god, but they do. That's your job now. Okay, I really didn't ask for that. Yeah, well, I didn't really ask you to doom the universe either, but here we are. Okay, so if we are reborn as full-grown people, possibly with or without our memories, are we at least going to be together again? I don't f***ing know. Read the post-game novel. That they'll translate into English, right? Welp. That's the end, folks. Right?
Okay, Squall, we literally destroyed their universe. No more time paradoxes, no more shitty sequels. Okay, but... Like... They're all being reborn into a new world. Uh, you know what? F*** it. They learned their lesson. Let's go put a stop to whatever bullshit Cloud and his buddies are doing with time travel in the 7 remake. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a minute. The what remake? God damn it! Where's my damn remake? <sighs> Let's waste those turrets.